Hey, Loot Crate. Well, it is the top five show. I'm Christian. And I am Mark, and Christian brought his grail diary from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade with him so we could do the top five Coen Brothers movie. Christian, Hail Caesar comes out this weekend. Hail Caesar is a movie I'm looking forward to very much. The Coen Brothers are some of my favorite directors of all time. They're witty. They're different. You always know when a new Coen Brothers movie is coming. And man, have they had some great ones. And we're going to do the top five of all time. Yeah, I've had a few misses too, but we're celebrating them today. So what do we have? Coming in at number five is going to be a movie that uh, I think that it, it might be one of my favorite pieces to watch that stars Poe Dameron. And that would definitely be Inside Lewin Davis and a really cute cat. I loved Inside Lewin Davis. And I think it's one of the underrated ones that they've done because exactly why you take someone like Oscar Isaac and you put him in this role and the cat but, but and the cat and Adam Driver also um, but right, you know right. the thing is it's just it's a great character piece to study it's real that's the thing that they do is that they really the, the characters are real it's not traditional storytelling in mm -hmm. every one of their movies and it's certainly the case with Lewin yeah the story of a folk singer in the 60s making his way he yeah. might have a brush with Bob Dylan at one point in the movie and the music one of the hallmarks of the Coen brothers best movies great music certainly the case with that number four you want to talk about one of the best villains of all time the coen brothers are responsible for it in no country for old men <laughs> javier bardem with the cow gun or whatever the hell that thing is and it is well friendo how do you feel about it oh my god he's just got that cree he looks like Great a really haircut. psychotic beetle walking yeah. around putting metal in people's heads but he relies on the flip of a coin he's like a two-faced or something like that and the movie itself tommy lee jones he's on the trail he's looking for some stuff it's got a lot of great actors in the movie Josh woody Brolin. harrelson also pops in there so it's a movie that i think that some people weren't a huge fan of the way the film wrapped up but that's another one of the hallmarks of the coens is that they're not going to take it in, in a direction you might expect every one of the movies like i said before it's non-traditional that's what they mm -hmm. do and sometimes you leave kind of some people might leave pissed off some people might leave kind of perplexed or it might start make you think a little bit and that's certainly what no country for old men i did. don't know there was a lot of thinking going on in anton chigurh's head though my god yeah. just phew, terrifying number three is Raising Arizona. Yeah, that's how we. Well, it's one of the earlier Cohen movies, and it's how we met their sense of humor. That's the that's the point. Is the fact that this movie was really funny. Nicholas, like this is the thing with Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage, when he's in some, some sometimes when he's in films, it's just laughable, and you sometimes. watch it just to watch. A lot of times, but he's like, <laughs> recently, you gotta turn off the lights. But in regards to what when he does things right, he does them really right. And working with the Cohen brothers did that. And man, this movie, it's really funny and still holds up today. It's hard. Hard to believe it came out way back in 1987, I believe, and it was a very young Nicolas Cage, and you're right, it's not only an announcement of him and what he was going to bring to the acting world in the 90s being great, in the 2000s being decent, and now being a nutcase, but also the Coen brothers, early on you saw their wit. Give me back that baby warthog from hell. What's number two? <laughs> number two is going to be a film that's my personal favorite Coen brothers movie, because I haven't seen our number one yet, can you effing believe it? The Big Lebowski, it is damn near perfect. I love The Big Lebowski, and it might be it, as far as being my favorite i think it's my favorite we can switch them if you want nah because i still think number one is the best um but as far as being my favorite you talk about comedy you talk about jeff bridges and john goodman mm -hmm. crushing it in this role the dude abides and when he abides <laughs> he abides well yeah steve buscemi john Turturro also pop huh. up julianne moore and it has everything that you want in a coen brothers movie it's the movie that i think my college roommates and i we watch you watch like your days confused stuff like that the big lebowski is probably the movie we watched the most in my four to seven years as an undergrad with white russians uh, so occasionally we had bathrobes and white Russians. Number one has to be Fargo. As far as a well-made, put-together movie, that has also spawned a very successful, great television show. Right. But it just, it's a movie that is, it's all together, I just think they're best work. And it features one of their mainstays, Frances McDormand, in one of the starring roles, which I believe she and was nominated for an Oscar in that. Who's her husband? William H. Macy. Oh, that, well, he's in the film as well. Sure so, is. And is it one of those movies, let me ask you really quick, You'd because like, it, No Country for Old Men, It don't tell me the ending, but it, does it wrap up in a similarly kind of no, off different, style? Different. It's it's a little more a little more traditional, but still crazy. Um, and it's still, it's it's a movie that you remember. Like when you, there's a reason why the television show came out, because the, the movie itself had such an impact, not only with performance and writing and just overall directing, 
It's a phenomenal film. All right. Well, this is why we do the top five list. We can encourage you guys to go see movies, and sometimes we look in the mirror and say, I need to check that out. Christian, give me some honorable mentions. Hudsucker Proxy. Tim uh, Robbins. Barton Fink. Uh, Serious Man. True Grit was one. Intolerable Cruelty. Lady Killers. And Miller's Crossing. All ones that didn't make it. Boy, do you sell a list. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's it. That's the top five. That's what we're doing here. Thank you, Loot Crate. If you're not already, subscribe to Loot Crate. You should be. And if you don't have their great product, do it every month because they send great packages more. That's Christian. I'm Mark. We are the Schmoes. We do bring energy to our YouTube channel each and every day. We have movie reviews like Hail Caesar, Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies, and a Deadpool review is going to be coming out very, very shortly. So subscribe over there as well. For Kay, I'm Em. Are you falling asleep over there? What are you doing? Don't worry about it. weirdo. Just do your job.